modulate long-term stress might surprise you a little bit. First of all, there are going to be the things that don't surprise you, which is everyone knows getting regular exercise, getting good sleep, um, using real-time tools to try and tamp down the stress response, et cetera. That's all going to be really useful. The data really point to the fact that social connection and certain types of social connection in particular are what are going to mitigate or reduce long-term stress. And this is a particularly important issue nowadays where we have all these proxies or surrogates for social connection. You know, we're online and texting with people a lot. Everyone has this kind of need to stay connected to one another. Humans are incredibly social creatures. The way to think about social connection and how it can mitigate some of the long-term effects of stress is really through the systems of neuromodulation, like serotonin. Serotonin, again, is a neuromodulator. Neuromodulators are a little bit like playlists in the brain. They tend to amplify or bias the likelihood that certain brain circuits and body circuits are going to be activated and that others will not. Serotonin generally gives us feelings of well-being at very high levels. It makes us feel blissed. And it tends to make us feel like we have enough in our immediate environment. When we see somebody that we recognize and trust, serotonin is released in the brain. And that has certain positive effects on the immune system and on other systems of neural repair and, re and synapses and things that really reinforce connections in the brain and prevent that long-term withering of connections. So serotonin is tied to social connection. Now, social connection can take many forms. Some of those could be romantic attachments. Those could be familial attachments that are non-romantic, friendship, pets, even attachments to things that just delight us. Having a sense of delight, a sense of really enjoying something that you see and engage in, witness or participate in, that is associated with the serotonin system. And certainly play is one of those things, social connection of various forms. Those are things to invest in. I'll be the first to admit, social connection and friendship and relationships of all kinds to animals or humans or inanimate objects takes work. It takes investment. It takes time in not needing everything to be exactly the way you want it to be. Social connection is something that we work for, but it is incredibly powerful. Finding just a few people, even one or an animal or something that you delight in, believe it or not, has very positive effects on mitigating this long-term stress, on improving various aspects of our life as it relates to stress and emotionality. Now, how do you know if you're making serotonin? You don't know in the moment, but you can learn if you pay attention to kind of recognize these feelings of comfort, trust, bliss, delight. And those are not weak terms. Those are not associated just with uh, psychological terms. They are, they are every bit as physiological as the movement of your muscles or the secretion of adrenaline.